this is a video to explain how to get um, the process data from the MPB 10. The first section of it is um, all float. You've got four 32 bit floats that come out of the MPB 10 that give this data, um, but it does not come out clean data straight out of IO link. So we have to do some manipulating to it. So, first, what we'll do is just go from the beginning. So, this is my network configurator, and this is the SIG 350. So, my input data um, I'm putting into D16000 for 276 bytes. So, that's coming from the SIG 350. So, when I look at the SIG 350 and I come to the manual, when I have in my input assembly, I start my data starts on port one at byte six is where it goes all the way from byte six to byte 37 and that is where my first port on the SIG 350 starts implementing data from the sensor. So then if I come to the IODD file of the MPB 10, you can see that I have temperature default and I've got four bytes of that. So byte zero, one, two, and three. And if we look at the PLC and we take it online, so you can see here that I'm starting. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So the six byte is in this word. So D sixteen thousand and three. Zero again. I'm starting my data, my MPB 10 data, at my sixth byte. What we saw here for port one. And I need four bytes of data. So that is two words. So if we look here, those are those two words, D16003 and D16004. Now at this point, if I start with D16003, you see here, this is unusable data. Um, even if I was to turn this into a float, it still would not be good data. It says it's 2.9 when I'm actually at 34 degrees Celsius. And I'll start the HMI back up since I timed out. Again, we saw here 34 degrees Celsius is the same thing that we see here in the PLC, 34 degrees Celsius. But I'm coming in, the first byte is starting at 16,003. So what we have to do is we have to do a word swap and a byte swap. So what I'll go ahead and do is just make a graph so this makes this easier to understand. And we're just going to focus on the temperature. So just those four bytes. So right now we're coming in as byte zero. Byte one. Byte two and byte three. And these are actually D16003 and D16004. So now first what we need to do is do a word swap. So when we swap these words, that means I'll take this and I'll put it up here. So in my PLC program, if I go to D16003, which you see here. This is where I'm moving the words. I'm doing a word swap. So I'm taking this word and pushing it to 
D16004 is going to D5400. And D16003 is going to D5401. So I just took the second word and put it at the first word. And I took the first word and put it in the second. So now my data will look like this. So that does the word swap. Now, what we need to do is do a byte swap so that I can move the data to where it needs to be. And you'll see that done in the PLC here using the swap instruction. So once I run into a swap, now it's going to swap these two bytes and these two bytes. So now my data is usable. Now the beginning of my float will be, so this is D, D5400 and this is D5401. But since we're using 32 bits or four bytes, we'll make this into one word. As you see, here. 5400, 5401. And then what I did is I did a move L here. And this is how I put those together. So I did a byte swap, then I did a word swap. Now I'm using it for a double word. That is my next instruction in the PLC. So I'm taking these two and turn them into one word, but it's a double word. And I'm pushing those into D5410. Now, 5410, you look at it here, it's reading as a 32-bit float. So this was the data coming in, 16,003 as a double word. This is D5400 as a double word after the swap.
make that a little bit cleaner. You can see that if I put this into a double word, I have the exact same data on both of these. But if it's reading as a, a decimal or integer, then the data is not going to look correctly. It has to be read as a float or real because that is what it's supposed to be if you're not reading it as a float the data will not look correctly so hope this helps and let me know if you have any questions